morning, Indonesia. You are still with me, Zikra Kurnia Putri from Boltek Pel Sumber News. Several airlines in Indonesia are still continuing their flight operations even though they are currently in the pandemic. There are three airlines that still serve various routes in Indonesia. The airlines are Garuda Indonesia, CityLink, and Sriwijaya Air. Of course, these three airlines have their own health protocols before entering the aircraft cabin. Minister of Health Tarawan Agus Putranto issued a protocol for monitoring domestic travelers at airports and ports as a step to minimize transmission of COVID-19 in these areas. There are at least three important things that passenger and crew transportation most should pay attention to before deciding to travel. First, must be in good health and apply precautionary principles such as wearing masks, washing hands frequently with soap or using a hand sanitizer, and keeping a distance from each other. Second, must have a negative RT-PCR examination result or a non-reactive rapid test that is valid no later than 14 days from the issuance of a certificate and a health alert card. Third, when purchasing airplane and or ship tickets, passengers who are going to travel are required to show a negative RT-PCR examination result certificate or a non-reactive antigen or antibody rapid test to the airline, shipping operator, travel agent electronically or non-electronically. This regulation is issued in circular letter number HK0102. Concerning the protocol for supervision of domestic travel actors at airports and ports, the Minister of Health hopes this protocol can prefer corona transmission to the community. Further news, in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, Ships from the Indonesian National Shipping Company, or PELNI, will continue to operate the also reopen marine ticket sales. However, ship tickets can only be purchased by certain passengers with certain criteria. Purchasing both tickets can be made at the PELNI brand's office counters and ports that have been opened. During this period, PELNI will only sell tickets for about 50% of the ship's capacity. That's why the passengers on the ship can maintain their distance or physical distancing. Here are some conditions before boarding a ship from Pelni. First, have an identity card with the port of destination. Second, have a health certificate in the form of a negative COVID-19 certificate from the result of rapid test. Third, passengers are required to wear a mask before and after boarding the ship. Fourth, and the last condition for boarding a ship is to buy a ship ticket, which must be cashless or non cash Meanwhile, passengers who don't follow health protocols and are known to be on board will be isolated in special room. Pelni Head Corporate Secretary Yahya Kuncharo said, related to SE number 9 or 2020 from the Task Force, one of the articles state that the rapid and PCR validity period was 14 days and welcomed and supported the policy. With the rapid test and PCR validity period being longer than before, it can ease the requirements for passengers who frequently travel due to business needs, so that the cost of the rapid test can be commensurate with the relatively cheaper both rates. He hopes that with looser requirements, it can slightly boost passengers because the cost of a rapid test compared to a boat ticket is still relatively insufficient. Regarding the provision of rapid test or PCR service, Pelni explained he still didn't appoint a service provider partner. Formerly, only each brand's coordinating with the port and KKP to be able to assist in implementing the rapid test. Circular of the Task Force for the Acceleration of Handling COVID-19 number 9 or 2020 on 26 June 2020 revised SE number 7 or 2020 concerning the criteria and requirements for the travel of the people in the adaptation period of new habits towards a productive and safe COVID-19 society. As for the changes, namely the requirements that must be met for people who are going to travel by public transportation, namely the obligation to show a negative PCR test result or a rapid test with non-reactive results, which is valid for 14 days. Okay, I'm Zikra Kunimaga Putri from Poltekpa Sumber News. Thank you for watching.